Hi everybody, Hi. it's Kelly here with Kelly Creates and I'm here with Addison and today we have um, a finished object, a whip, and some happy mail that I got. So we will start with finished object first. Um, so I showed this on Melissa Crochets with Love Live, but this is for anybody that might not have seen it. This is a tube top that I made for my sister. Um, it was made with the Yarmy Sugar Wheel. Yep, in the color Zest Wishes. It is a light three, and I used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook to do that. And it just has that nice little tie in the back that way she can make it as tight or as loose as she wants i just have to weave in the ends there and i'm going to be making her some sort of bodycon matching shirt her birthday party is on june 10th her birthday is june 14th so this is her part of her present um so it goes from a hot pink at the bottom to a medium pink and i love this orange the, this camera is not doing it justice but it's a pale orange and then there's like two tones of yellow it's a lighter yellow and it goes a tiny bit darker there and then the ties in the back are a light pink and a yellow there she wanted them hanging kind of long and i also i'll show it um sorry sorry if, that. sorry if that stopped my phone battery was dying a little bit um but if it didn't stop cool um so this is what the ties in the back look like it they're just um double crochets five of them in a row just made them about the same length and then she can tie it up how she would like i'm not sure how many yards i end up using because i start started and stopped this a couple times before i figured out the exact pattern i wanted each one of them we're 355 yards, I believe. It's 100% cotton. Um, so I probably used about one whole one in this. She's a size extra small. So this one is, it's pretty tiny. Okay, so next I have my whip. I'm almost done. I will be done today. So I started a pair of socks a while ago and then I stopped and ended up doing other stuff. But now I am coming back to them. So this one is the finished one. One of the socks that I've shown. And this one is the one that I'm almost done with. I just have to do the a couple more rows for the foot part and then decreases to the toe and then close up the side there. And this was made with, remember what it was? It was um, Yarn V Glowing. And then it was something feather. Finch feather. This color was Finch feather. And therefore, my dad yes they are for her dad he wears about a size 11 and a half um the um pattern that i used for it only went up to 11 so it was good i could keep trying on him just to make sure that it was the right size but the pattern's really easy and these are crocheted socks um they're it's super easy um and this was a four weight yes a medium four and i used a 4.5 crochet hook to do this it's really hard to tell in here and even when the yarns together it doesn't really look glowing but it does in the actual like skein mm -hmm. it looks more like it's glowing when it's in the skein so I don't know if it's maybe just um the pattern that I use it doesn't really show that but it has like um kind of like candy cane stripes throughout it so it goes from like a yellow and a white to a lime green and a white darker green and then it goes into a light blue and then it goes into like this color yeah there's like a dark blue in there very pretty and there's like a hunter green kind over here yeah. there is two strands i can show you that's what the the strand looks like there it is a fuzzy yarn it's two strands that are together to be honest it's not my favorite they look really nice but it's probably not something that i would really seek out to buy again i do have it in one other color but i can't remember what the name of the color is it's like a peach yeah it's like um we showed it in another video i know we yeah did. i can't remember it the was name, um though. it was like it was like pink white purple white green yeah white. yeah so it's it's got peach. it's the same pattern as this is like it's got the candy cane things yeah but like it's just different it's colors. more on the peach end but i will this was a yarn inspirations um family socks i'll put the link below for that and i'll also put the link below for um the tube top as well that was by nick crow addict i love hers that's what i made your top with mm -hmm. i love her um tutorials they're really simple i literally did this in like yeah two like, days yep this was i did that super fast. last time she took like yeah well that was weeks. when i yeah that's when i first started now i can knock things out pretty fast mm -hmm. okay 
So next is Happy Mail. Now Addison hasn't seen this yet. I didn't even, I opened it earlier. I um, hadn't seen it before I opened it. Um, I don't want to show any addresses, but this is the cute, cute bag. It came in with some limes and lemons on there. It's very really cute. This was from when I won as being the semi-finalist. Let me make sure I say this right. Crystal, the yarny chicken and crazy cat lady. I really hope I said that right. Um, but she had her 1K milestone, and I was a lucky semi-finalist on AJ's personal touch touches um channel um so if you are not subscribed to either of those ladies i'll put their link below make sure that you subscribe to them they have wonderful channels they're amazing women okay so we will open the card can first I, read the cards? I don't know if you can read the card because it's in cursive but you can try um, your very best yes i know how to read cursive well then, yeah sometimes it's a little bit harder but addison yeah. will give it a try it will help her out try but to. this is what the card looks like it says what's it say on the front congratulations nope Congrats. <laughs> it says congrats. It's got a bunch of different colored, um, like, pinwheel type flowers on there. And you can go ahead and read the inside. Congratulations. On nope, it just says congrats. <laughs> congrats on being my semi-finalist for Crystal's. Crystal's 1K giveaway. I hope what... Nope, that. That... She's got a weird tea. <laughs> Everybody um, writes cursive different. That you. You like everything. Yep, and then it says her name, and Jeanette, and then it says AJ's personal touch, and this says P.S. The. Unlabeled. Unlabeled. You. Yarn. Yarn is sh sugar. And. And. Cream. Sugar and cream. She she took cursive like I cannot read. I told you that. Hundred percent <laughs> cotton. So I got that. I got them at Millard's from Mary Maxim. Maxim. So um, what happens with Millard's is they have like unlabeled. I'm sure most people know it says like unlabeled one. So she was just letting me know what it is. And Addison's just learning how to write cursive, so she's writing it very proper. Where I'll write, it and she's like, "That's not how you make a B." So. Yeah, so she's used to seeing it like the specific way that it's supposed to be. Um, so she, she'll, you learn it more. My as you teacher's go. strict. Well, you're supposed to be at first. Okay, so this was inside the card, and this was a, it's her card. It says Custom Crochet Tech Editor Skincare AJ's Personal Touch. It's got a little cat with some yarn and butterflies, and um, it has her phone number there with her email. I'll show that. Just in case anybody would like to get in touch with her for anything. Um, and this is her on all of the social media platforms. But it included a cute little butterfly stitch marker. I know my lighting in here isn't very good. Um, but there's a cute little butterfly on there. It's got like pinks and purples and it has two gems. There's a pink and a purple gem on there. You want to show what the next part was in there? This is a slash. Nope. Stash. It says stash. Yep. Stash cranberry pomegranate cat fiend free herbal tea. It's that's that's in another language. Oh. <laughs> so that's an herbal tea. Um, it so says lovely. ingredients: hibiscus, rubius. I'm not sure if rubos. National national cranberry, cranberry flavor and national pomegranate flavor. So that's that nice little tea. All right, so this was the sugar and cream that she was talking about. Cute. So it's like a, I would say that's like a cream color. Can you actually turn the light on really quick? Mm -hmm. Maybe that will make this better. Um, it obviously, doesn't have a label on it. So if anybody has this color, if you want to comment below and just, there we go. If you want to comment below and just say um, what this color is, if you have it. So there's like a light blue, pink, and then purple little splotches like little dots throughout it so yeah this is the sugar and cream 100 percent acrylic i mean cotton not acrylic <laughs> yeah. and can i hold the other one yeah like to tell about it okay so oh oh this is so pretty this is called the basic stitch premium um it's from it's lion brand i really love the lion brand <laughs> lion brand okay i'm just trying to get the name right 3.5 so it's 3.5 ounces 100 grams 219 yards and 200 
millimeters. Meters. Um, meters. <laughs> um, it's medium for, it says for you, for to use knitting needles. Is a five millimeter one. And I'm surprised about this question. It says to use a six millimeter crochet hook. Yeah, I would and probably use a six for that. The color is cayenne. Good job. Yeah, so it's like uh like the like the spice cayenne. And if, cayenne. if this is an acrylic, it's a four medium, but I it is a little bit on the larger side, I would say. So maybe a five point five or a six. I love orange, so this is like a very nice color for me. Yeah, she's I'm not, into the orange. I love season. oranges, sorry. So this one, and then we have you wanna show mm -hmm. I saw yeah. that too. Take that one. Yeah. This one do you know how to say that word? It's from Red Heart. Um, Amigurumi. Amigurumi. Each one makes two. And it's, um, there was like a sticker over this, but it's llamas. It's like a little llamas. It llama. makes two llamas. It's so cute. Um, so it's a super fine one. And it's, it says to use a two. 2.25 millimeter crochet hook and a 2.25 millimeter knitting needle, um, knitting needle. Um, hmm, I can't uh, I know that there's rest of this this the color probably just probably says it's llama, llama. <laughs> um, I know there's oh here it is this oh, right here so it is 3.5 ounces like the last one 100 grams like the last one and I'm surprised this has more on the last one 200 and 39 yards and it is 219 millimeters like the yarn of it. So you know why um, it's different yards, right? This is a thinner yarn. Yeah. So you so can, you get, can more. get more. Now this does say it's a super fine one, but I have a yarn that says it's a one and it is like a sh tiny little string. So I would say this is more of line of like a two. A, even like, I mean, oh. this says it's a light three. That looks like it's a light two they look pretty much the same so i don't know if this would be a super fun one i've never made amigurumi before but this is super nice um it's got the white to the pink and then this is like a mustard yellow yellow and then it goes to like a bright blue you don't necessarily have to make amigurumi with it um amigurumi but, yeah that's what the that's what those are called amigurumi that's what They're the little llamas yeah but that's what this, that's what the little ones are called the little things that you make are called amigurumi it's llamas or anything you can make anything and any little the, an, the little animals or anything you make that the name of them are amigurumi oh. <laughs> all right she learns something new every day all right so we have this oh, this is so pretty um it says follow your heart this is perfect cursive <laughs> just yes um Oh, there's hearts on all the pages. And oh, look then, at that. Oh, this is so cute. Zombies beware. I yarn, I'm yarned and dangerous. That's cute. That's super cute. That is super, super cute. It's like a purple and lime green with a ball of yarn. Looks like it was sewed together. Yeah, it is. It's like a needle point or cross stitch, whatever you call it. And it's an iron on. That's super cute. I love that. And then inside the book, I really love these. They're like little hearts going all around the pages and you can just write them like maybe you can write a love no so. <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is all the stuff that we got from aj's personal touch thank you so much we really love it um again if you guys aren't subscribed to either crystal or aj please go over to their channels and check out their content and see if you would like to become a part of their family and um we thank everybody who has subscribed liked commented even just watch the video. Even yeah. if you didn't subscribe, just watching them just for a little bit. We appreciate everybody's support. And on the 1st, we will be putting out... What are you doing? <laughs> we will be putting out a video um, about a monthly giveaway we, we will be doing. So watch out for that one. And I'm still trying to get to the 200. When I get to the 200, we will do a giveaway for that as well. And Connie's Just Because Giveaway... Um, they heard from all the semifinalists and on the 31st, she will be posting the video picking the grand prize winner. So if you are one of the semifinalists, make sure that you are watching out for that. Um, or even if you're not just watch to see who wins. I love seeing people win things. It's like, it's really cool to be like, oh my God, yay, they won. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that was our whipped finished object.
whip and finished object and our object. Happy Mail little giveaway. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so I'm definitely keeping that bag. You like the bag? Yeah, yes. you can keep it. All right, well, thank you everybody for watching. We really appreciate it, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Memorial Day. Maybe you're having a long weekend. I have off work on Monday, and they had an extra long weekend because unfortunately on Thursday night, there was a high school student in their district that made a threat. Um, it was not found to be a credible threat, but because of everything that's going on, they did decide to close down all of the schools in our area so the school administrators and the police could do a thorough investigation to make sure everything was cleared. We haven't heard anything more about it, um, but I'm assuming that everything is okay, but that's not something that should be taken lightly, and I'm glad that they made the actions necessary to make sure that the children were safe just in case there was an actual threat. Um, okay. But again, everybody have a safe weekend. And um, if we don't talk to you before um, the next video, have a great Memorial Day. Yep. Thank Bye. you guys. Bye.